Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Mike Greenlay. I'm Audra Martin. The struggles at home continue tonight for the Minnesota Wild, falling 4-1 to one to the visiting Dallas Stars. This one really decided in less than three minutes. Dallas with three goals in two minutes and 22 seconds. And the reality is that was too much for the Wild to overcome tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this game was a tight hockey game uh, all the way through the first period. The Wild didn't really get any offense going. Uh, their first shot was six or seven minutes into the game. You'd expect in a game like this with the, with the playoff complexion the way it is, playing against the Dallas Stars, that there would be a ton of excitement in that locker room and there'd be a ton of will to win, but it just didn't, didn't materialize in the first period. And then in the second period when the Dallas Stars got rolling, that's where you have to realize that the complexion of the game might stay the same except for a short period of time, which it did. All four goals, or excuse me, all, all the goals scored in this game, other than the empty netter, were scored in a five-minute span. Mm -hmm. All three of Dallas goals were scored in three minutes and 22 seconds. So other than that flurry of offense, the game before and after that was a tight checking game where not a lot of uh, grade-A opportunities for either squad. Both goaltenders played well around that sequence. And so here's where the Minnesota Wild have to understand what type of game they're playing in. They also have to understand that the identity that you're building, uh, you know, throughout the whole season here, they're 4-11-4 and four in their last 19 home games. Is that going to be what your identity is here at home? Because uh, if so far they haven't done anything recently, uh, being shut out five times in that span, only scoring a, uh, in the first period in six or seven of those games, I believe. So is, is that what you're going to say that your home schedule is like? I think they still have an opportunity to turn things around. They have three more home games mm -hmm. in this home stand important games all of them they need to start pushing and changing the the identity of what their yeah. home schedule has been yeah well tonight for the dallas stars it's a big win because they now find themselves in third place in the central division the blues bumped down to that first wild card spot and of course minnesota still on the outside looking in four goals on 31 shots tonight for the the dallas stars the wild they get a power play goal, so that does snap a six-game drought, but again, just not enough to get it done here tonight. And Bruce Boudreau, as you would imagine, not to please the lack of urgency here tonight. I was expecting this morning when we're talking and uh, before the game, the excitement of this being a playoff type atmosphere game. And you could tell when we scored the one goal, I mean, the crowd wants to get behind you. The, the, but I think we've been shut out three out of the last four games, and this one's only one goal. There's not a lot to cheer for. So this weekend, it's a double dip against New York team starting Saturday against the Rangers, followed by an early Sunday game against the Islanders, who continue to be a very impressive team out east. But first things first, the Rangers, bit some, some struggles here lately, just a handful of wins in their last couple or last 10 games. So a prime opportunity for Minnesota to get back in the win column if they can come out with that urgency and get this building energized and on their side. But that would be a lot of fun. It would be a heck of a fun Saturday if the Minnesota Wild could come out and get something done in the first five minutes of the game, whether it's just a lot of pressure, some great A opportunities. Obviously, a goal would do that because this crowd wants to cheer for this team. But in the last 19 home games, the Wilder 4, 11 and 4, and that's just not, as you heard Coach Boudreau say, not a lot to cheer for. Uh, Minnesota Wild have beaten the Rangers earlier this year, 4 to 1 in New York. Uh, they need to take some of that energy and the fact that the Rangers are, are, are not going to be in the postseason this year and traded away a couple of their players. And so basically they're just, they're just playing out the, the string here. And you need to come out and just give them a reason not to want to uh, press back. They're 3, 4 and 5 in uh, their last 12 games. So the Wild have an opportunity to get back in the win column. And after you get back in the win column, it's interesting. There's just different feelings in the locker room. There's a little mm -hmm. bit more confidence. Uh, maybe you score a few goals, get some guys going, because the next day you don't have a long break. <laughs> You're facing the New York Islanders, who are yeah. uh, near the top of the Eastern Conference yeah. and a very good team. Yeah, well, the Minnesota Wild have 11 games left in the regular season. Six of those will be played here at the XL Energy Center, and hopefully they'll be able to pick up a couple wins and reignite that magic that they've so often had on home ice. It'll start hopefully Saturday against the New York Rangers, and we look forward to seeing you then. For Mike Greenlay, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.